It looks real enough, and that's the point. On a show called The Game of Death on TV in France last night, the penalty for a wrong answer is you get to pull the lever and shock another contestant, apparently within an inch of their lives. I want to leave, I want to leave, he screams. The contestant doesn't know it, but the victim is just an actor. There is no electric shock. The game show is a fake. A demonstration within a documentary Madame, monsieur, proving bonsoir, A, bienvenue bienvenue how cruel people can be to each other, B, what people will do to get on television, and C, what audiences expect to see on TV these days. That's what's shocking here. You know, I think the biggest uh, frightening thing about this show is not so much what it shows about human behavior. And let's face it, we know human beings can be really, really bad to each other. But I think what this show shows more than anything else is the producers and how they can go so far in uh, really executing some pretty ridiculous ideas. Ridiculous, maybe, but no. apparently profitable. So-called reality TV yeah, has nothing. pulled in audiences in the U.S. and around the globe. On The Fear Factor, the abuse may involve eating the back end of a pig. On The Chair, it may involve the very fires of hell. But the French show opened a deeper vein of human behavior, one based on a series of experiments at Yale in the 60s, where an authority figure ordered someone to administer a painful, even potentially lethal, shock to an innocent. More often than not, they did. Last night's show on French TV may not have been so shocking after all. Mark Phillips, CBS News, London.